Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to take a look at another offering from Vever. This is their 40-amp Bluetooth MPPT solar charge controller. Now, I'm very excited about this one. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here you can see it comes packaged very well. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now the first thing that we see is this QR code. You can scan this and download the app for the Bluetooth on this unit. So very nice, that's the first thing that we see. The next thing that we see is the user manual. And I'm just gonna thumb through this fairly quickly let you guys get a glimpse of what the user manual says sometimes there might be some good information that could help someone out there so that's why I do this section in my videos sometimes I even come back myself and look at the user manual this way through the video so if you see anything that interests you feel free to hit the pause button there's a lot of good information in these user manuals so let's keep going I'm going to be talking a lot about the specs and stuff of this unit in this video. There are some of the LED indicators on the unit. Let's take a closer look at that. Some of the charging statuses that you can find different color in indicators for the type of battery that you're going to be running so it'll do a lot of different batteries and then right here are some of the parameters I'll move very slowly and you can take a look at that we are looking at the 40 amp version right here And that's about it. There is a website for Vever support. And there's nothing left in the box. And as you can see, it comes in these little foam inserts to keep it well protected. And right here, there's a warning sticker on the back. And here is a look at the back of the charge controller. Not too bad. Here's a look at the label on the top. This side has nothing. The other side has this indicator. So very cool. Here is the front of the unit. You've got your three indicators here. You've got your photovoltaic indicator, you've got your battery indicator, and your battery type indicator. And one thing that I want to make note of is some charge controllers, they have the positive and the negative, and then the positive and the negative. But this is different. It's positive, negative for the solar, then negative, positive for the battery. So make sure that you don't um, get that backwards. There is the temperature sensor that goes if you have a lead acid battery. Here is a COM port where you can connect a screen to this, and then there is the set button. Where you can set this thing up. This charge controller is auto sensing whether you have a 12 or a 24 volt system. It does support Bluetooth technology and MPPT charge controllers are more efficient than pulse width modulation. Up to 30% more efficient 
and the conversion efficiency rate of this charge controller is 98 percent that is fantastic if you're going to be setting this up for a 12 volt system you can run up to 520 watts of solar input and if you're going to be running 24 volt system you can run up to 1040 watts this unit does work well with different battery types so you can run AGM batteries, gel batteries, lead acid flooded batteries, lithium iron phosphate batteries and other battery with this charge controller and like I mentioned it does offer a built-in Bluetooth function this allows you to remotely monitor your system and you can also go change parameters and settings and stuff like that through the app now the operating temperature of this unit is minus 20 centigrade all the way up to 50 degrees centigrade and if you want to talk about that in Fahrenheit that is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit now there's five protection systems that this unit has it does have reverse polarity of the battery protection it has uh, the photovoltaic reverse polarity protection it has photovoltaic short circuit protection overcurrent protection and it has what they call a TVS lightning protection so in the event that you get struck by lightning this thing is fine uh, there's also three charging modes available you can have the first charging mode of they call it fast charging the second mode is balance charging and it also offers a third what they call a float charge so Bluetooth uh, of this unit can be reached up to 20 meters away and like I said a second ago that is a good thing so you can customize and change your parameters of the the unit now if you want to talk about the dimensions of this unit this is 7.2 inches wide or 183 millimeters it is 4.92 inches tall or 125 millimeters and it's 2.76 inches thick or 70 millimeters thick now the maximum direct current charging amperage that this charge controller can handle is up to 40 amps and like I mentioned briefly in the beginning of this video it does offer 12 or 24 volt automatic detection of your battery bank this charge controller can handle up to 100 volts direct current of open circuit that's the maximum voltage that you can bring into this one and the weight of this unit is 1.33 kilograms or 2.93 pounds so it's not a big heavy bulky unit especially for a 40 amp charge controller I like on the side here how it has these little holes so that you can set this right up against your piece of plywood or the wall or whatever you want and it's very easy for you to find where the screws go you can just run screws right in these holes you don't have to draw out a template or nothing you just put it against the wall zip your screws in right where the charge controller sits so it's very easy to mount this charge controller those terminals are large you can put a big wire in there and I love these heat dissipating fins I think this is a very nice charge controller so here on the back side of the building I have a hundred amp solar panel with the wires just going up into my area I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my battery first so I'm gonna loosen all these terminals So I've got this wire here. This is going to be my positive wire. I will make this connection first. We'll just stick that in there. We'll tighten this down. There we go. And this wire, because it has the black end, this is my negative wire. So it's going to connect right there on the charge controller right there and these terminals these these lugs are plenty large to handle these wires so let's go ahead 
and hook up the negative to the battery first. You have to you have to connect the charge controller to the battery first before you connect it to the solar panel. So there's the negative and then we'll just double check and make sure that this is indeed the positive and I can see the positive right there. So we're going to go ahead and connect this one. And at this point, the solar charge controller will come to life. You can see I have two green indicators. Now again, if we look at the side here, it'll tell me what this uh, green means. We need to set this for lithium iron phosphate, which is what this chemistry of this battery is. So now that we see the green indicator, if you refer back to this portion, green is telling us that the charge controller is set up for a sealed lead acid battery. We need to get it for a lithium iron phosphate blue 12 volt system. So we need that blue. If we were running a 24 volt lithium iron phosphate, we would need purple. And it does have white for a custom you can put all your own parameters in there. So now that we have the charge controller hooked up to the battery, we need to change this indicator to the correct battery type, like I showed in the chart a second ago. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna use a toothpick here. I'm gonna push this set button and I'm gonna hold it for eight seconds until this starts to flash. So let's go ahead and push that, just like this. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7, and as you can see, 8 seconds later, this starts flashing. Now, I can do single presses and cycle through the different colors until I find blue. Now, I can lock that in two different ways. I can push and hold this for 8 more seconds, or I can just wait 15 seconds for this to turn solid, and once it shows a solid blue indicator, then now I'm set for lithium iron phosphate. As you can see right there, it just went solid on us. So now, at this point, the charge controller is set for lithium iron phosphate. So now that we have the correct battery type locked in, we can go ahead and take these wires, and we're gonna plug them in. This comes from the solar. I have a 100 watt solar panel sitting on the back side of the building. So I'll just stick the positive in there. These are really thick wires, so bear with me here. There is the positive, and now we will stick the negative in there. These terminals are plenty large. This is number eight wire. And now we can see a red indicator for our solar. And as you can see, that's all there is to installing this 40 amp charge controller. It's very, very simple. And if we look at this red indicator here from the photovoltaic, we can refer back to this chart. And if you can see that it's a steady on, that is telling us that it's in bulk charging status, MPP tar charging. If you have a slow flash, that's acceptance, boost charging. If you have a single flash, you can see that it's a float charge. And then quick flashing is equalization. And the double flash is current limited. Or if that indicator turns off, you're not charging at all. So the fact that we have a steady on is a good sign. We are now charging this battery. I want to say thank you to Vever for sending this charge controller out for review. I really like it. Well folks, as you can see, installing this charge controller was extremely simple. Now this charge controller is manufactured by one company and they rebrand it and sell it to other companies. So I know that these MPPT solar charge controllers are very reliable. They're very effective, very efficient, very durable and i'm just really happy about this it was so so simple to set up i hope you enjoyed this video if you're interested in this vever charge controller i'll put a link in the description box down below i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and until next time i hope you guys have a beautiful day we'll see you on the next one bye for now everybody